Some of the latest evacuees from Kharkiv, and among them, some of the most vulnerable of the city, still shaken by their ordeal. People like Oleg, who had gone to the city one day before the war broke out and was stuck there for a week. We stayed in the shelter of the clinic. People helped and delivered food. Yesterday, we tried to leave by train, and in my condition, it was difficult to move. Look what you have done, you animals. Are you happy now? Those were Anastasia's last words as she was leaving Kharkiv. She is seven months pregnant and was stuck in a basement in the southeast part of the city. Her neighborhood came under shelling in the very first moments of the Russian assault and was completely surrounded. We were afraid, but we had to leave because in two months I had to give birth and it would have been impossible. The maternity hospital has been hit, so you have to give birth to your child in the bomb shelter, the metro or the basement. You can only reach the doctor by phone. For the rest, you are on your own. I don't know where I will give birth. Stories of fear and escape are common to all those who made it to this school in a village on the outskirts of the Dnipro. This is just a transit point. People can stay here for three days, have a rest, pick up some clean clothes, whatever other necessities they need. But then they have to start moving again, going west, joining those hundreds of thousands already on the road, trying to reach the closest border. The journey ahead is still very long, not easy for women traveling alone with children. It took Nastya nine hours to get here. She fled Luhansk region in eastern Ukraine after her village came under shelling in the early hours of the morning. She wants to return home, but her, like Elena, doesn't know who will be in control of her hometown after Russia recognized the self-proclaimed republics of Donetsk and Luhansk. We have nowhere to return. My mom and sister are still there. We couldn't get them out. As soon as we do, we will leave. I don't know where to. As hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians flee to neighboring countries, more people are on the move from eastern Ukraine. Among them, many ethnic Russians, which Moscow claimed it wanted to protect. Hodabdel Hamid, Al Jazeera, in eastern Ukraine.